Today we are going to learn three very important uh, command. One is generate, one is replace, and the uh, the other is the if statement. So previously we have already recalled the variable religion into religion recalled using the command line recode. We collapse Protestant and Christian into Protestant. We preserve Catholic Jewish noun and collapse all the rest to the other. The line is here. In this video, we will, for, we will introduce how to do perform the same task use generate and replace. The general rule of generate the new variable is generate relig recoded one equals to one. That means assign a new value one to a new variable called religions recoded. And we gave it we use uh, if statement to state the condition under which this action will be performed. This line says if the the variable religion takes value one, generate a new variable called religions recorded one and that takes value one. Let's run this line. And see how it works. So here we can see that for all those variable, all those uh, observation whose religion takes value one, we have a new variable that has a value one. Now we want to proceed to the next action. Is if the Catholic which will generate a religion recorded whose value is two if the religion is Catholic, which is value 2. We can't use generate. Again, because instead of once you generate or you declare a variable, you can't declare it twice. If you still try to declare it, theta will tell you it has already been defined. So we have to use replace. Let's browse it again. So now we have a the second value comes in. By the same token, we can finish all the recode by using 13 different lines of replace, generate and replace. Notice that we need to collapse Protestant and Christian into the first category so that we can combine the first line and the eleventh line together by using the logic operator of OR. OR is uh, indicated by a bar in theta. Let's run this line of code. Similarly, we need to collapse 5 to 10 and 12 to 13 into 5. So here 5 to 10 is a range so that we can use a range operator that is really larger, larger than 4 or no smaller than 5 and religion no greater than 10. Replace religion or religion is larger 
than 11 and relish is smaller than 14. This is, we have now encountered almost all the logic operator other than does not equal to, which is indicated by a tilde and an equation, an equator. Now let's replace the rest. Let's tap it again. Notice that this is the same as we do before. Now I can make the code even more compact by not declaring a new value for a new variable, but instead de declaring a new variable as an old variable. By doing this way, effectively I'm creating a new variable that is exact the, the exact carbon copy of the old variable. And furthermore, I can combine these two lines together by using parentheses to indicate the priority of the logical op the priority of the logical operator. When you group if statement in the parentheses, in the parentheses, Stata will prioritize the logical statement within the parentheses, and then uh, operate between the parentheses. Here we can see we com accomplish the task within three lines. That is the power of if statement and generate and replace. By far, all the tasks we have done by generate and replace can be done by recode. But sometimes what can be done in generate and uh, replace cannot be done by recode. For example, we have two variable called drink drunk. The variable drink takes value one if the respondent said she or he never drinks. Takes value two if he or she said he never drunk. He never drinks. Conditional on you report your drink, we further ask whether or not you have been ever drunk. Takes value 1 if you say yes, you ever drunk, and take value 2 if you say you previous drink but never drunk. Now we generate a new variable called drink drunk. That takes value 1 if you never drink. Takes value 2 if you ever drink but never drunk. Takes value 3 if you both drink and got drunk.
this is the code to implement the logic that I described before. Notice that it combines two variables into one, which cannot be done by recode. Generate can generate other stuff. For example, we can generate a random number to, to the variable space, or you can generate it as well. Here we generate a uniform random variable from 0 to 1 by using generate random uniform. You can see the smallest value is close to 0, largest close to 1, with mean and median close to 0.5. By generating this variable, we can further do sample partition if you want to. Say we want to partition 60%, we want to preserve 60% of the sample in the analysis while we'll hold out 40% of the sample in the our sample test. A simple way to do that is by declare, declaring that partition index equals to 1 if random uniform is larger than 0.4, which means it includes around 60% of the sample. And we and we replace if random uniform is smaller or equal to point four. We can tab the partition index and seeing we preserve roughly 60% of the observation within sample and 40% uh, of the observation out of sample, totally by random. When you try to use the partition, comparing these two, Here we have 55,000 observations, while here, when you condition on the British index is 1, we only have 33,000 observations. Two final points. If you generate a wrong variable, you can always drop the variable. Two. If the variable contains missing, when you're using larger without giving a upper limit, or you're using smaller without giving a lower limit, uh, the generated variable will include the missing. This is sometimes undesirable, and you can avoid that by using does not equal to. Say. Let's tab sex. Let's tab drink with missing. So here we have 38,000 observation that is actually missing. What if we generate drink beta 1 equals to 1? If drink is larger than two, is larger than one. We will have three uh, forty 